Hey guys, welcome to the third match. Curiosity switching up the corner, the, the colors. Third match of Fighting Spirit Mania. This is the third game of the third set between Seriosity and Striker. Up left in corner we have Seriosity. Bottom right in corner we have Striker, starting as the Blue Zerg White Protoss equivalently for Seriosity. So if you're unfamiliar with the Fighting Spirit Mania tournament, Fighting Spirit Mania is seven bests of sevens. So you have the first set, which is a best of seven, the, se the second set, which is a best of seven, so on and so forth. And then there's even double eliminations. So Seriosity, after this, if he ends up losing to Striker, which looks like it may be likely here. I will say I have my doubts of his uh, ability to prevail here. He will be pushed to the loser's bracket, where there's more bests of sevens, and round two, more bests of sevens from there, I believe. So all of this being a little bit meta, because Fighting Spirit, I think, is back in the map pool, but it's considered one of the most balanced maps of all time. But it was also, it's been in and out of the map pool for forever. Since its in inception, Fighting Spirit, I think, might, might be the most played on Broodor map of all time, outside of maybe Big Game Hunters. Uh, and even maybe more than that, because I'm not sure how much like versus computer play happens in comparison to 1v1 on ladder these days anyway. But anyway, so it's been around forever. And then you have, of course, you know, Fighting Spirit. And then, yeah, Fighting Spirit, Fighting Spirit. So Fighting Spirit Mania. Definitely going to see who the best player is. Because, again, it's considered purely... Because the thing is, is, you lose... Let's say you get swept in set one. And then you get sw swept in set two. You still have time to adjust for set three. I assume these players don't play all 49 however many potential games uh, at once. I think this is going to be an overpool opener once again, by the way. Seriosity so looking to disrupt that, that hatchery. But Striker just going to avoid it. and going to go ahead and plant... Another hatchery at his 6 o'clock location. Initial two Zerglings being produced. So yeah, just going to move it right there. Seriosity at realizing he's in a cross-spawn situation and going up against an overpool is going to once again try to sneak an Exus and a cannon to follow. Drone is going to come across and see... No cannon yet. So going to attack the forge a little bit. Gas being grabbed around the 234, 235 mark. Probe sneaking across. Looks like it is going to be able to get in the base, but it's taken a considerable amount of damage. When you lose a probe, though, against Striker, it's just, it feels like it can be GG, to be honest. Oh, and is he going to lose it again? That probe does get wiped out. Striker going to go ahead and grab that third base. So this is a potential... We've seen Striker pull the trigger and go Hydralisk, in many of these situations to potentially go just 973. Probe making its a second probe making its way across the map to get additional scouting information. If it is 973, it'll be a little bit harder to saturate that natural expansion. Probe gonna wander its way across. Let's see if it can go ahead and sneak up and get vision. It sees that second hatchery being produced, natural expansion being saturated, gateway online, assimilator uh, there. We're going to see a Zealot before 7x score this time. Oh, the probe's getting the not getting the better part. Maybe it was too concentrating too much on the probe micro here. Layer being morphed. Looks like Striker doing Striker things. Probably if he's going to go for his more standard thing, this probably is going to be 4-hatch play once again. Potentially 5-hatch. He's been going like 5-hatch five 5-hatch five uh, Mutalisk. Multiple times. Overlord on the corner going to go ahead and scout things across the front. We do have that Cybernex score in that back corner. Handful of drones have been built and are saturating the 6 o'clock base. The probe getting run out of dodge. Let's see if it returns home with all the information that it has gleaned. Especially because the Stargate now online, and usually this is when you want to kind of transfer. But a Zealot marching the way across the map. See if he can go ahead and sneak to the six. There is a man, Striker already has this. So he's already got this overlord in position to see this zealot coming across the map. Maybe that zealot's gonna sneak across the corner though. How did he So never mind, the Zerglings didn't see it that time. The Zerglings not doing their job. Didn't have their where's the bloodlust? One Zergling down. Second Zergling down. I think that was a miss micro click, and a drone accidentally killed a Zergling there. Doesn't count as a kill right there. And Seriosity, once again, 
pocketing the Zealot, but that's three... Three Zerglings, four Zerglings for Zealot. Pretty good trade, and he's disrupting a bit of mining time here at the 6 o'clock location. However, Zerglings are starting to pile up for Striker at the Natural. And with that Zealot out of position and additional Zealots not there, he's going to rapidly take down the Cannon. The second Zealot going to get wiped out nearly immediately, and the Probe's off the line now dying. Oh my gosh. So, and more Zerglings to follow. A Cannon to try to follow this up. To try to defend something, and Seriosity calling GG. Wow. So Striker punishing Seriosity for moving that initial Zealot out and not having enough cannons in defense. Sheesh. Quick one. So is this game three? Goes to Striker in just abusive. Yeah, I think... I think he spotted that lack of a cannon on the front and realized that with that one Zealot moving out, oftentimes, without two cannons... The Zergling Flood is just all the stronger and just went for it and took it out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See if we move into, uh, if Seriosity can win one in game four. Hope you guys, uh, yeah, we'll move to that one next.